Pambili. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, as Nahau in the Western Cape province and in nationally, we support the call of students on UCT with regard to the issue of removal of statue of Cecil John Rhodes. If the statue was relevant in the era of apartheid, today it is not relevant. We voted in 1994, we voted for democracy, we voted for inclusion and integration of blacks and whites in one system, including in UCT as an institution. Yeah. It is against that reason we are saying forward with struggle of students of UCT. Comrades, among other reasons we support your call is that this demonstration the discrimination and racism also affects us as workers. Yeah. Yesterday in one meeting as in how we were saying in UCT in particular you'll find out that the lower categories of staff of which some of them are the ones that you're speaking here is that they are all appointed on, in outsourced companies. Yeah. They are not in payroll of UCT. Yeah. And it is very unfortunate that majority of people that are working for the outsourced companies are blacks in particular. Whereas white monopoly is in establishment of UCT and they are in management positions of the, of the UCT. We are fully aware that their employment equity system is kind of window dressing. It is not aimed at really transforming the UCT in the form of including everyone in terms of race and gender. It is in the same UCT that you are aware that if you are black, you are not good enough to be a student here. We know very well, in fact, I'm a victim as well of discrimination in this institution, where the institution is discriminating blacks in employment opportunities of the institution. Yeah. Comrades, we have taken this institution in some instances in CCMA to argue about the issue of employment equity that the institution is, re is refusing to comply with. Yeah. We are therefore saying to the management, please, and do the outsourcing campaign or, or, or program of your UCT, it does not talk to workers. These workers want to be the payroll of UCT. We are saying remove that start of Cecil Rhodes. If it was relevant then, it is not relevant today. Of course, UCT don't want us to mobilize other campuses, to mobilize institution of higher learning, the, uh, uh, the office of Blaine Zimande, to support us, this institution. We don't want to go that far. Let's do it nice. Let's undo and transform UCT. Amanda! Thank you. Thanks a lot, comrades. Um,
There have been surveys, there have been debates, there have been all sorts of engagement. Now we are saying enough is enough. and social responsiveness. And what I have to say is, the removal of the Cecil John Rose statue is more than just about race. It's about this institution taking transformation seriously. This, the culture that this man stood for also introduced the homophobia that, that separates us from, the, from our black brothers and sisters today. Right now we have to deal with black lesbians suffering violence in our communities because a culture of violence has been introduced by the apartheid system to separate black people and people of this country. So we demand that the statue falls so that the, the university can rehabilitate itself. Yes. It's a symbol for this institution saying that it takes transformation seriously and is demanded for by students. We are not willing to listen to management on this front. It's been 20 years. We should have been discussing the removal of the Cecil John Rose statue 20 years ago so that by now we are not wasting our time instead of going to our tutorials, marching for the removal of a statue. So we beg management. We're not even begging. We, re we want that statue gone and we want a date and time and we want to discuss transformation at this institution afterwards. Thank you. Amanda! 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 You know, we we're all brought here for one reason. Because there was a student last week, Monday, who decided to defy the university. There was a student last week, Monday, who decided to defy white privilege. Yeah. There was a student last week, Monday, who decided enough is enough with this institutionalized racism. Yeah. And I think it's unfair to allow that, speak, that, that student not to address students. Yeah. It's unfair to allow that student to have a silent voice. Yeah. Just because the university wants to charge him, doesn't mean we can't let him speak on his behalf. Yeah. So I want Kumani to come to the front so he can address students as well. And the Chancellor of the University said it doesn't matter who teaches you and we're here to say it matters. Yeah. It matters. Yeah. It matters. Because we should be able to see ourselves in this institution. Yeah. We should be able to know that we're present and we're part and parcel of this institution. Yeah. We are not just a recipe for add and stir. Yeah. We are human beings yeah. and we deserve to be here. It's not a privilege. Yeah. We're not privileged to be here. This is not a privilege. It's not a privilege. We deserve to be here. And the university management should know the same thing. We're not standing here because we're privileged. We're standing here because we have a right to be here. And that curriculum should also reflect our right to be here. The staff members should reflect our, our right to be here. This institutional culture, the institutional culture is very white and elitist. And black students are expected to thrive in this type of surrounding. Where? When we don't see ourselves here. Comrades, I think we can proceed to the program. Thank you to everyone else who's come here to give their messages of support. We want to thank the universities in Jamaica who've contacted us and shown solidarity. Um, different universities around the world. We know that, we, we want the university to know that the world's watching. Yeah. The world is watching. Yeah. Now, I'd like to first yeah, call yeah, on... Yeah, 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 yeah. Our next one, Chancellor Barankola. <laughs> Amanda! 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 Viva UCT student, viva! Viva! Viva UCT student, viva! Viva!
Thank you very much. Once again, black and white, we are united in one voice. We are saying, Pansy, go roads. Pansy. On Monday, when I protested, my institution, University of Cape Town, they went on a public spree and they thought that I was a barbaric, a lunatic who does not know what to do. But today, you are answering that message from them. Thank you very much. We've said it very clear that we've got a faith in his leadership. We said very clear from the onset that our message is a very intergenerational message. It's a cry of AC Jordan. It's a cry of Mafeche. It's a cry of Mamdane. It's a black cry. A cry of the workers. A cry of the staff. I'm talking about the staff in the law department. I'm talking about that staff in the physics department. I'm talking about that staff in the mathematics department. That silence voice. Here today, we are saying that voice must stand up and speak truth to power. We are calling to the university to transform very rapidly. We are saying to the university, ours, we want the names of the buildings to be changed. We want the names of those buildings to be the African names. We want to the vice chancellor now to pronounce himself and say they withdraw the charge. Criminal charges against me, they must be thrown. We are saying to the vice chancellor right now, right here, that the investigation of those students who participated in the march on Monday, they must be nullified. This is the kind of message we are waiting from our leader. We know our leader has already pronounced himself. We know that he said that in his personal capacity, he wants the statue to be gone. Thank you. But we know we are saying now, Dr. Price, to you, we are requesting you to nullify the investigation, to, to withdraw the charges against me, yes. right here, right now. Amanda! 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 Oh, is going to be removed. We didn't demand a date when the university is going to think about it. That does not concern us. We're not interested in that. The university management must come back to us and give us a date. They must do the deliberation in their own time, not in our time. We need to be clear about that. We're not going to accept or we're going to think about it. We don't want, we're not interested in those dates. We want a date when it's going to be removed. Uh, I'm going to call Mama to come speak on behalf of all the outsourced workers. But I also want someone to volunteer to translate for us because she's going to. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>
city. Mbona mnaita mchezo wa time city. Siti ana kula salama bande. Sifuna ndema za siki tusifuna hayo. Siti ni wa kula leta. Siti ni wa si capitalist. Yana limali chama kacha kuti. Si wote bwa tazi sleni. Mbona singa ba sada nzi. Asiwa sifunda. University, thank you so much for your solidarity.